are you? And what have you done with my co-host? BJ. It's me. It's Jess. No, Jess is a redhead. That's like part of her identity. Well, BJ, I got here a week ago, and I don't know if you heard, but I did take second in the Hollywood Poker Open Ladies event. Nice. Starting to rack up a lot of big four-figure scores and thought, maybe I'm getting too big time. So, wanted to keep a low profile, be able to sneak into these ladies' events unseen, and decided it's time to change it up. All right, well, I guess that explains the title of today's show. BJ and the Brunette with Jess and BJ. Though technically I'm still a redhead. You can kind of see. It's dark red though. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I kind of like the ring of BJ and the redhead better. But Yeah, BJ and the Brunette sounds a little too matchy-matchy for my taste, but that is neither here nor there. Yes, and we are here where? We're in Indiana for the Hollywood Poker Open at the Hollywood Casino. But before we talk about that tournament, I have to rub in that at Bay 101. Oh, settle up. Yeah, we're settling up. At Bay 101, I won the final table again. Yes. BJ's upset because, well, BJ says we didn't bet anything. Three hands in, no, I offered the, a sandwich. The video on the line. footage says we didn't bet anything. Yeah, we didn't bet anything. The chips had not changed at all. I offered to put a sandwich on the line, and BJ refused. No, because if we bet something, I might have chosen right, So I. I won on Pride again, and I won the over-under of highest finish of a shooting star. I took the over on two and a half. And Mike Sexton finished sixth, Mike, Mike Mattisau, Mattisau finished, finished third. third, so neither one of them broke that two and a half barrier. So I lost both bets, but I don't mind because I didn't lose anything. We are going to put something on the line, though. Yes, we are. Possibly. Right here and there, final table, barbecue on the line. Barbecue, Billy's Barbecue, Lexington, In Lexington, near, near here where I grew up. Yes, this is home field for her. It is. I, I Home field advantage, so hopefully I'll win today's over-under, which right. is how many players are we going to get? Now, we won't know this until the beginning of day two because you are allowed to register up until the start of play tomorrow. Right. But we're going to set the line off of last year's field of 144. All right, uh, I'll go first. Yes. Since you, Since you clean swept the yes. last two over-unders. Uh, 144. Um, God, this is, it, we're getting late in the season and stuff, 144. I think we're going to come in under. I'm going to take the pessimistic line on this one. I'm going to take the under on 144. You know, I've been here all week kind of scouting it out. And yesterday, I saw tons of people on Twitter. I saw tons of people I didn't think would be coming were coming. So I think we're going to see more this year. I'm going to right. be the hometown supporter and say... Rah, rah, go team. Go Indiana. Go team Midwest. Yes. Uh, last year we did have 144, which sounds small, but that field, if you remember, was tough. It was a concentrated field. Yes. With Lots big names big and names. tough players. And a good, great final table where Carlos Mortensen picked up title number three. Yes, perhaps the greatest WPT performer in history. Carlos Mortensen picked up his third title. Now, we hear he's going to be here, or have you seen him yet? I have not seen him, but I have, my sources, my Indiana network of spies, have told me that he should be coming. I would love to see how Indiana spies have an in with Carlos Mortensen. <laughs> I know. But, uh, but he's coming. I've been told that last year's final table is Chris Bell is coming. I saw no Ravi Roghaven, who final tabled this last year. Uh, a yeah. local guy from Dayton, Ohio, Jerry Payne, final table. Final table and last it's, year. He's been playing prelims the whole time. He's here. All right. So I think all six of them are probably going to be here. But and I'm we've not... got some faces that weren't here last year. That are coming for sure. All right. The player of the year race is still Andy Frankenberger, still out in front, Vivix behind him, and then a European, Alessio Isaya, did really well in the Europe event, so he's up there. But really... This is third to last event of the WPT season. One more final table, and a bunch of people could right. put themselves in the running. So basically anyone who made a final table had the chance. We saw Randall Flowers, who won Festa, is coming. Greg Brooks, who won LAPC, is here. I saw him last night. Mm -hmm. um, who else have we seen? That's I got here, here this morning. Uh, Andy Frankenberger is coming in tomorrow, as is Vivek Rajkumar. Okay, late Ford registration. Corkins is here. Uh, who else have we seen? Joseph Chong, Christian Harder. Christian Harder, did see Christian. Uh, Mohsen Sharania, who final table Foxwoods, Tom Marchese, who final table Foxwoods, William Reynolds, 
So with this many players who are a final table away from contention or taking the lead, possibly with a victory, and a s relatively small field, this could it's definitely small, be... It's stacked, and there's right. more at stake than But just this could be a make-and-break tournament for the Player of the Year race for Absolutely. the WPT. This is a relatively new tournament. This is only the second year that we've seen it. But I think what we're seeing happening is that this tournament is going to be one of those POI, make, right. big Where make it falls break on moments. the schedule, the type of field you get. Yeah. It's going to be good. All right. I think we've covered what we need to cover. All right. Just one day one, but registration open until the start of play tomorrow. Yes. Looking forward to a stack field. For Lots those of, of you photos. coming till tomorrow, you're going to like our question of the day because it's going to be rather helpful. Our question of the day, where are we? We're on a boat. Yes. Technically, we are in the basement of a riverboat casino, and we are underwater right now. That's right. And to get here is a little disorienting. Yeah, if you thought being on a boat was weird, wait till you hear how to get here. Now, most of the players are going to be flying into the airport for Cincinnati, Ohio. But the airport for Cincinnati, Ohio is not in Ohio. It's in Kentucky. It's in Kentucky. So you land at the Cincinnati airport in Kentucky and then drive across the border into Indiana. At no point entering the state of Ohio. Where you find yourself at the Hollywood Casino for the Hollywood Poker Open. In Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Lawrenceburg. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't realize Cincinnati, a, a good chunk of Cincinnati is pretty much in Kentucky because the suburbs of Cincinnati. Yeah, I've never thought about the suburbs of Cincinnati. You don't think about Cincinnati, the Reds? No, I think, yeah, the Cincinnati Reds and WKRP in Cincinnati, and that's it. But that's, like, in Cincinnati. Those aren't the suburbs. Well, WKRP in Cincinnati is a cool show. It was 25 years ago. Well, I mean, don't you think it's still on TV? Oh, my God. Huh? Isn't it? I see reruns on it. Well, there's all these issues with the uh, music they played because they played actual good music and stuff and they can't get the rights for DVD releases and all that. So you're telling me you have like a notification on Amazon? Yes, should I do. We, should WKRP in Cincinnati come out on DVD? BJ Amazon Nemeth is going to be the email. first to know. Yes, Dr. Johnny Fever. <laughs>